So have you ever painted a skull? <laughs> we are coming to you from J and J Ranch, southwest of Tucson. I'm James. I'm Paul. And, and of this course, is very antsy this is chompers. chompers. She's jumping off me already. <laughs> a nice camp here out in the complete Sonoran Desert. Yes, and they are completely off-grid, which was so amazing to see. They have a huge solar array, which goes to a battery bank, which basically powers their entire campground. Then they have not only a well, but they collect rainwater, and it goes through this really complex filtration system so that they have fresh water. So this is completely off-grid. Off yeah, really impressive. Every light that's solar operated, is all over the property. Yeah, yeah. All about solar here, as we should be, right? So why come to J and J Ranch? Well, first of all, it's ever since I went to the University of Arizona in Tucson. Uh, yes. Go Wildcats! <laughs> we have fallen in love with the Sonoran Desert, and so we love to camp out here whenever we can. And this is a pristine, pristine valley, very just, private, yeah, very remote. west of Tucson. Really remote. The views are amazing. The camp offers some RV locations. They have a few cabins they're calling glamping. That's for the folks out there. Yeah, they're working really on those camping. now. Those should be done anytime soon. They're they're glamorous camping. Yeah. So. so those who don't chant into all that, you're going to have a couple of options here doing that. But what's really cool is when it comes to tenting, if you don't have the supplies, they have them for you. You yes. could rent a tent and all of that stuff for a weekend and come out here and experience it and see if, if tenting or camping is your thing. And if you've got a group, they have a huge tent to offer. Small, yes, medium, and large tents, tent, tent. not to worry about it. The campground is divided into two areas. There's kind of an upper area where there are the glamping cabins. And room for tents. Yeah, and the main house, and which has a beautiful deck, rooftop, yeah. rooftop deck yeah. for viewing not only the desert, but um, at night, great skies. And then they have a lower area, and the lower area would probably be great for group camping. And that has what's a former chicken coop that's been turned into kind of a, I don't know, what do you call it, a sunroom? Yeah, it's fully screened in, so if it's sunny out, you sit in the shade and you have the full-on breeze. It was very comfortable. We were um, lucky enough to be taken on a hike by the owners, and they brought us up on the hill so we could get a whole view of the whole property. They are eight acres here, and they are surrounded by BLM land. So this is really, really private to them. Oh, there yeah. was a huge outcropping of quartz that they brought us to, some old wells, and there's some mines on this property, yeah. too, historic mines. This is this is Arizona, so it's copper mining country, so they were there are historic mines that are on the property and on the nearby BLM property. So right now, we're boondocking in our RV. They don't have any hookups or anything yet for RV, so all RV is boondocking. Well, the whole property is boondocking, right? Well, that's, <laughs> that's true, because it's all so the fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we had, we scored this amazing sight, um, beautiful view. You can see it behind us. Yeah, the view behind us you is can our actually, front door view. Yeah, and you can see all the way down to Mexico, which is amazing. We're only what thirty five miles yeah, from, from Mexico from the from the border, and it just just some amazing views here. We're on the west side of a mountain range from Tucson, so we get very very little ambient light from Tucson. And Tucson has light laws anyway, so it's already a very dark city. We sat on the rooftop a couple nights and watched stargazing, and I saw the all seven stars of the Little Dipper. And if you've ever watched any of our videos before, I judge a dark sky by being able to see all seven stars. But what's also kind of cool about nighttime is they have, what, over 700 solar lights that they have put all over the property. And up on the hillside. And up on the hillside. So cool. at night when you look out, you see these color-changing lights. It's really, really quite magical. It's, it's really a beautiful place. So, getting back to what every guest gets to do here as That's an honorary right. thing, the skull painting. So, Paul and I were yep. invited to add ours to the collection. So, you see, uh, past guests have painted whatever they consider interesting on their skulls. I went with I went with uh, Rainbow Pride. <laughs> I went with a more macabre, more theme. Theme. Yeah. Anyway, it was so really it, a nice little fun. Uh, yeah, it's treat. a cool tradition that they started that all their guests get to paint a skull and then you have them all on display, yeah. so you can see what uh, previous guests have done. So. You can be a kid again. Yeah. <laughs> this place is west of Tucson. And it's about a 45 minute drive, probably from downtown. The last seven minutes are on a, a gravel road. So 
The last seven minutes took us probably 35 minutes. It was just, a, little, a little rough. A little rough. Wash 40, we just drove slow. Uh, just remember slowly. to drive slow. It's not impossible. Just drive slow and take your time. You're not in a rush. But once you get here, what you're rewarded with is what you see behind us. Just beautiful, beautiful views. You basically can pick wherever you want to drop your RV or tent once you get here. Too. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, inquire within. Absolutely. So, for us, J&J &J Ranch is totally two yeah, thumbs two up. two thumbs up. This absolutely. Very... We'll be back. And, you know, this being their first year, it'll be amazing to watch this place grow because they've got some great plans once they get the glamping cabins going. So definitely, if you are if you are fans of the Sonoran Desert like we are, absolutely check out J&J &J Ranch. If it's you really want it. peace and quiet and solitude yes. and nature, it's just really gorgeous. I think you'd really love coming out here. Yep. So put it on your list if you want to get out of the city or if you want to add it to your road trip. Absolutely. And in the meantime, you Thanks know what we always say? Thank you oh, for watching. Yes. Like, like, and please like and subscribe on those buttons down there and we're heading tuned. on our way we're on our way yeah. for four more months we'll be on the road so follow our adventures take care everybody all right thanks for See watching you on the road bye, bye.